Hello my gorgeous Scorpio, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling absolutely amazing and I know I say this every week Scorpio but I truly hope for the collective watching this right now including cross watchers I hope that the week so far has been kind patient and generous for all of you let's jump straight in because as you can see there is a lot here that I do want to cover for you and it's all about the truth the truth of this connection because if it's about someone that you have in mind you know them they know you and it doesn't matter how little or how long you've known them for and even if you're just curious about the truth about someone from your past, someone that you're dealing with now, or perhaps someone new that's entered your life and we're trying to figure them out. So what's going on? How do they really feel about you? What are their real thoughts about you? I also want to tap into your energy. I'll be using the pyramid spread and I haven't used that in a really good couple of years, but it is a really powerful spread because basically we are condensing everything into five cards. I'll be clarifying, of course, stick around to the end Scorpio because I'll be using the fairy romantic oracle cards. I'll be pulling out some charms that can show some symbols or events that are to come or to confirm the situation. And of course, I will be pulling out first name, last name initials, could be you could be your person, but here's the magic in this. If there are initials there that don't pertain to you or your person, take a screenshot and remember it because it could be a friend, a family member, a stranger, even a coworker, I've seen it, that may be of some and hopefully positive influence to this connection, Scorpio. And sometimes I do actually spell out words like rose, um, nail, it, it might, it's, it's something there to, help someone at least um, just really confirm the situation here. So we've got a lot to get through. Scorpio, please don't forget to subscribe. You don't have to, but I do encourage you. There's a lot of free content here available for you every single Wednesday. So today it is Wednesday. It is the 21st of August, 2024. And every Wednesday you have two readings uploaded, one from Gigi and one from myself, Fifi in your dedicated playlist and also this saturday don't forget that your bonus weekend mini love tarot reading will be uploaded at 12 pm this saturday and it will be time stamped as well so it's easy to find your uh, star sign your reading all right they're saying two more they will show i don't know why it's nearly every star sign i'm seeing the initial j i don't know if it's very common like jenny jeremy joseph josephine josephina um, it's obviously for probably one, two or three people watching this. All right, they're telling me just one more and we're going to get jump straight in. It's weird because I'm doing the pyramid spread and they're actually literally showing me a pyramid too. So I don't know if you, if you want to go to Egypt or if you have a, roots in Egypt. We have a past life connection there if we believe in reincarnation. Yeah, there's something solid. I don't know. There's something solid that's happening here. Something that has roots. Sorry, let me just do that again. And I don't want to see the cards. I'm actually smelling perfumes. They're very feminine perfume. Like, um, think of stuff like cool water or... I know it's an old perfume from probably the 90s. No, but... Okay, it's gone. Let's see. Knight of Wands. This is interesting. So, Knight of Wands is the second fastest moving knight. And always remember the magic form with all nights, regardless of which night it is, we've got messages, changes, offers, and transitions here. I'm also looking at the car. It's not really important, but I am actually seeing that someone either has like a hot rod, they've got a classic car, um, they're working on it, or it's like their prized possession, they keep it, they only take it out for the weekends. I'm kind of seeing something like that. It doesn't have to be red, because I am seeing white and I'm seeing it's like a darker, I don't know if it's dark blue or black, but um, that, that's obviously for one person here um, watching this. This person might also be at a distance. The issue on what I'm seeing here is that sometimes this Knight of Wands always leads with passion, with gusto, with motivation, right? Because they see you and they want you and they don't want anyone else. But sometimes they can self-sabotage themselves, right? In other words, they get in their own way. They could be overly flirtatious and sometimes they can be quite impulsive. And they should kind of be a little bit unreliable. So for some of you, this person kind of, it's like they waltz in and out of your life and you're like scratching your head thinking, well, what do you want here? Because the whole question is the Hierophant or the High Priest, which is Taurus energy. 
And of course, this is about how someone is comporting themselves. Some of you may be questioning this person's morals, ethics, their values. Even though this person could be even very spiritual, traditional or religious, they do something where you're kind of like, your words are not matching your actions here. But obviously they're coming because, you know, the Knight of Wands is more than often portrayed as the one, as the knight in shining armor here. I knew it. Something happened. That's why I did say that they can be impulsive. They self-sabotage because lo and behold, did they give you the three of swords? Shame on them. So that is liberal energy. That is heartbreak. That literally could be infidelity. Doesn't always have to be though. It could of course be that it was a family member. It was a friend or just something that this person said and did on their own side that really broke your heart, which again, people fail to understand this person did is that they broke their heart as well. Because I feel like there was potential here. Either you were in a very committed relationship or married to this person. They could have actually been married here also to someone else. Get ready. Okay, because we've got the knight has grown up to the king of wands. And we look at that. We've got page, the knight, and the king of wands. So we've got a lot of Aries, Sagittarius, um, Leo energy. They can be any star sign, but they want to give you good news. And they're hoping for some reason... They're thinking that you're going to be happy to hear from them, but they're going to. Look at that. Yeah, the King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. They're going to take a lot of action. The downfall of this person is that they do self-sabotage. They're quite impulsive. They've got to stop leading with passion, though. There are times you've got to think with your head here. And I feel here with that Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, they may have been juggling you and someone else. Like I said, it, it can be romantic. It doesn't have to be, but boy, uh, this person, I feel like they kind of ruined everything. And now they want to come back and try and save, salvage what happened. So I, not necessarily I'm picking up this as someone from your past. It really could be someone that you're dealing with now. We've gone our separate ways or we're taking a break. But there's been hard, I feel like you're very, dis very dis beyond probably disappointed with this person. Let's see where, is this going to split please? Get ready. You're the second, second fastest moving energy in the entire deck. Sagittarius energy, the Eight of Wands, also known as Cupid's Arrow. Love messages. They're coming back here because they want to pick up the pieces and move forward with you. Wow. And of course, I do see that you will be responding because we have incoming, outgoing, incoming, outgoing. But there is obviously something that they have done here that has kind of like turned you off and you're wondering, is it permanent? Uh, this person could also be at a distance. Now, so I don't have to be, of course. Let's do the pyramid spread because the top is the pinnacle. It's like boiling point, right? That's pretty much the most important card. So let's see. Mm. This person may have a bit of a wandering eye, the nerve, because it's almost like, I, I feel like they're returning back with a lot of confidence, a lot of gusto. They may be in for a rude awakening, Scorpio, especially if you have made up your mind that you want nothing to do with them. Yeah, they are returning. Get ready. Six of cups. And that is you. That is Scorpio energy. And I do see that Scorpio, you catch yourself thinking about this person because I feel like this relationship, it was fun. It was compatible. It was spontaneous. Very passionate, of course. That's the physical side of the relationship. Um, for some of you, it might be that there is children involved. We're seeing a past life connection. And of course, a lot of you might be thinking, why is it that I still care about this person? Like, why? They hurt me. Well, you have unfinished business here. That is why. So... If this is someone, if you're watching this because it's someone from your past, uh, that is already telling you there's going to be a reunion. And if it's someone that you're dealing with now, even if this is like fresh, new love, we're still coming back together. So let's see. Wow. Who is spying on who? I think this person's spying on you. If you did it, I think out of sheer curiosity, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is the true messenger, the ultimate communicator. Uh, the Page of Swords can show this person can be quite witty, sometimes a bit sarcastic. Um, what's that word? Mischievous. They are quick learners. But uh, some of you may have met this person even online, like dating websites, um, through your socials or through friends here. Regardless, though, it doesn't really kind of matter where you met this person. That's only to confirm it for those of you out there. If you did meet them online, but they are keeping tabs on you. They might be even secretly, very secretly, trying to keep tabs on you, asking, trying to hear things through the grapevine. You know, Scorpio single, what Scorpio score, you know, story. Where are they right now? Are they in the same state, for example? Um, but they do want to talk to you, though. That is actually quite courageous. Now, let's talk about the pinnacle, the most important card. Ooh. Get ready. 
This is the mother of all offers. The Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I don't know why I just got the word attachment and I haven't even seen the devil card. I feel like this person could be secretly very attached to you emotionally. It's probably because they never met anyone like you before. But, you know, this is often a card that is strongly associated with commitment and even marriage. But it's the mother of all offers here. Let's see, when we go down, we've got the Empress. I don't know why I slapped the card, but we've got Taurus Libra energy. Regardless of gender, they're literally seeing you here. This is like the queen of all queens. And when the Empress is present, the Empress is here to bless this relationship. Believe it or not, right? You may have your doubts. You may be rolling your eyes saying, I don't want this person. But there is a sense of curiosity here because I feel like some of you have been looking up this person as well out of curiosity. But the Empress, right. So there might be some hot topics of pregnancy, babies, children here. does not matter the age. But the Empress is saying, hey, what if we were to give birth to this situation once more? Some of you might be against the idea because we do have the five of wands, Leo energy. Everyone's fighting and they're using those wands there as weapons. Um, there is uh, there is some challenges here between the both of you. I feel like the Empress is trying to cool this down. There definitely couldn't have been with that third party here. Um, some kind of interference with the divine feminine, whether it was a case of the ex, mother of their own children, their own mother, former mother-in-law, sister, a divine feminine. That's a friend here. That definitely could have been causing a, a lot of issues. Could be jealous of you, intimidated. Scorpio is stealing this person. You know, it's like they're taking them away from me. Mm. I just want to tell, I look at that. The Empress was at the bottom. So there's something here to do with a very strong divine feminine energy. We've got the Five of Swords. Whoever this divine feminine is, this third party, they are very, very toxic, very jealous of you. And I have had people say to me, there's nothing to be jealous about. It's like, ah, uh, whatever goes on in their mind is a completely different universe. We have no idea what they're thinking, how they're perceiving you. You know, if you do something and you think it's that small, they're probably seeing it's that big, you know? So, mm, they want what you have. I'm seeing there's a lot of jealousy around you. But this person here, I hope they've got it figured out because they need to do a strong inventory of the people around them. Too many cooks spoil the broth here. That's all I'm going to say. They're saying three more. I am seeing the initial T. <clears throat> Tom, Teresa, Thackeray. But it, I, but that's more with a Z, but I am seeing that. All right, they're just saying one more. I do listen to my spirit team because I do want to get the correct cards. I mean, it's literally impossible to take out the wrong cards, but since we're here, I work with my spirit team and your spirit team, please. Where do we go, please? On top of the Empress, thank you. That's a highlighted message about the Empress. Four, three, two, one. So, of course, you know, every card has more than one meaning. Because, of course, this person is wants a new beginning with you. But at the same time, the Empress is causing trouble. So <clears throat> I feel like your person needs to talk to you because my voice is breaking. That never happens. So just bear with me. I actually never, ever do this. <clears throat> my apologies for that. I do want to see this card. The Nine of Cups. Pisces energy. So your person has eyes on you. You are their wish fulfillment. Um, something is very strong here with pregnancy, babies and children, because the Nine of Cups, if we don't see the Empress here, the Nine of Cups shows nine months, nine months gestation. So there, And we've got children here. So there is something here very strong here about babies, pregnancy, children, and does not matter the age. Literally, it could be children, teenagers, or you know even adults here. Maybe they were also the interference behind your back. And if that is true, that sucks. But... Um, your person is seeing you as the one, not as this um, third party. Eight of Swords. Yeah, I'm not surprised if you hold back. You've got every right to. Could be dealing with a Gemini. You don't have to. But um, I feel like a lot of you will be really like in your head about this. It's like, yeah, but I got the Three of Swords. I gave it my all and this person gave me the Three of Swords. And no. Ah, see. Your, oh, okay. So uh, this is a question for you. Was your person in the end holding back from this commitment? Because we've got the Hierophant again, a Taurus energy. And now, God, I wish this person had, I wish they could watch this reading because I would say to them, you are literally about to lose Scorpio forever. And this third party, make sure they are permanently out of the picture. Okay, not they're there, 
sever it completely because your person wants the ten of cups with you pisces energy so the nine rolls over to the ten my other favorite ten ten of pentacles virgo energy the dream life manifested look what we've got page of swords again so they are watching they're preparing to give you the mother of all speeches and that two of wands aries energy I, i'm definitely seeing that both of you are going to meet in the middle but you might be doing that more out of curiosity to see what are they going to say what are they going to offer me let's see this is what they're going to offer you it's the ace of cups the card of true love cancer scorpio pisces energy there's no other way to say this scorpio so i'm going to say it this person loves you they are in love with you they've always loved you but i understand why they're why you're a bit in your head about this and holding back because their actions pretty much never matched their words i really wish lesson learned i kind of wish they handled things differently very differently let's talk about you with that six of cups page of wands again yeah so they're, they're hoping look at that aries leo sagittarius they're putting on their skates they're on their way they're crossing their fingers and toes and the eyebrows of their hairs here that you are going to be happy to hear from them do not be surprised if they do live close to you i'm hearing a knock at the door just saying but for the rest of you um i'm going to say pretty much more than 75 percent of you i'm actually hearing your phone ping um it's either ringing or they're sending a text message they they, they want to come back page of swords please mm, this is what they want to talk about because the page of swords can also mean we need to talk about some challenging stuff but we need to invite that in because it offers clarity they want to talk about the fact on how they betrayed you ten of swords mm -hmm. gemini energy we literally have those swords tattooed on our skin so some someone here may have tattoos doesn't have to of course but you know that is about loss ending separation divorce perhaps your person is also telling you that something has drastically ended in their life here as well but of course this is the thing they know to a very large extent that they did betray you that they cheated you or cheated on you and that does not fly by scorpio you're very loyal but you are very also quick to cut people out of your life and i think that's fantastic not everyone deserves a second chance some people do you know but they're, they're going to try they're going to try but they know to get to you we need to talk about that ten of swords first and then after the pinnacle right at the top of the pyramid here we've got the ace of pentacles that comes with temperance sagittarius energy i come in peace the complete opposite of the devil equal give and take here um they're gonna have to be very patient in fact i feel like the vast majority of you almost 99.9 percent .9%, either you're going to reject the ace of pentacles offer or you're going to stay any time and they know this they're going to have to be very patient they're not going anywhere they will wait for you because they want an answer but of course you know to salvage this to really pick up the pieces here peace balance and harmony is desperately needed here mm, there is potential but um, you need time they need to be patient with you let's talk about the empress please it's the strength card leo energy look at that literally going from strength to strength here i feel like your person with this third party like i said romantic or not whatever times they had yes it took literally and very obviously um all of your person's strength and courage to leave to come to you because they want to risk it all for you and you're worth it scorpio of course you are they're finding their courage and their inner strength here to face you to say hey why don't we why don't we try again give me another chance and let me show you um, it is the card of unconditional love of course but the empress is saying here if you start to feel yourself getting angry yeah just walk away calm down though um, because i can see here someone is having a bit of a hard time controlling their emotions here that five of wands please is the queen of wands mm. not liking this third party must admit leo aries sagittarius energy with the queen of wands why because the queen of wands when it is you know obviously with uh, such a challenging card like that five of wands could be a drama starter me 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 it's like they pretend that they're fakes and then this person has to leave and take care of them you know they could be challenging you to your face um they can be quite vicious mm. they told me to get three more wheel of fortune something's going to change in your favor because we have scorpio there queen of swords i think your person is separating divorcing from this person and they're going to tell you the good news we've got the eight of wands something's happening here something i feel like in your person's personal life things are crashing and they're burning 
and this third party probably knows you, knows of you. I'm hearing that they've seen your picture and they are pissed off. But that is their problem. That is not yours. Wow, they're coming out on their own. They're telling me to get six cards out. I'm not surprised because six is the number of healing. And I think then, you know, we've got temperance there. There needs to be quite a lot of healing. Oof. Look at that. So which one? They're saying like that. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck. We've got workplace romance, common cause connection. Like, so some of you literally probably met this person at work or with your studies, with your finances. But I'm looking at the word work. So I think here also an additional message because it's my job to go beyond, you know, what we're seeing here is that this is going to, it's going to take a lot of work as well. Um, let's see, we've got physical connection, of course, it says there, your communication goes beyond mere words. So of course, oh, I said physical, psychic connection. So actions speak louder than words, don't they? We've also got freedom, healthy space and room to breathe. So what I'm picking up here is that, you know, a lot of you do not also want to lose your, um, your independence because you've got your own goals here. So, and that's what I love. Even when you do come together, you're still going to be quite independent and they're going to respect that. Open your heart here. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. So some of you might be very weary, a bit hesitant to feel vulnerable once again with this same person, especially if they gave you the three of swords. But I do believe here that, you know, we do have the card saying that it is safe here because they're coming from a, well, they're coming from a good place. And we've got Forever Young here, a song of youthful playfulness here. So you might hear a song that reminds them of you and vice versa. But, you know, I see that and I see the Six of Cups. I think it's time for both of you to have fun again. We've got um, love language, physical touch. A tender touch means so much. I'm seeing hugs. I feel like this person just wants to hug you. They want to touch you again. Bonding. As you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. It's like getting to know each other all over again. Yeah, no, I don't feel like this time apart. I never really be truly believed that it was permanent. We've got benefit of the doubt. Give your relationship a chance. That is a message for you. See it for yourself. Hear it from the horse's mouth. We've also got best friend. Friendship is vital to your romance. Feelings deepen and blossom. And that is beautiful is that when we have our lover, but they're also our best friend. That though is going to take time. Let's get some charms. Oh, okay. We didn't get that much. We've got the initial if I can actually hold it. We've got the initial D. We've also got the beautiful feather. I love this. So um, feather, of course, I believe is divinely guided. We are being protected here by the angels. Some of you may be seeing, they're showing me an actual physical white feather. It doesn't matter if it's big or if it's one of those little chonky ones. That is a sign here. Yeah, look at this. It's going to be a success. You literally have I mean, the key to their heart, but the keys we do know means a success. We've got the smiley face, get ready. They're going to do something here that's going to make you quite happy. Uh, my spirit team said to get three more. I don't know why three, it's very specific. I don't want to look, that's the thing. What do we have here? Yeah, ooh, very regal. They're seeing you as their king or their queen because they don't want anyone else. We also have here a divine feminine. And we did pick that up here something's changing because this we do have um there like we do have the butterfly and it's already flapping its wings because we have other butterflies where the wings are flat so they're not doing anything but if you can kind of see it's on an angle it's like you know when the butterflies do that with their wings so yeah change and transformation is coming they're on their way thank you spirit all right what do we have what do we have what do we have we have two a's mm -hmm. we have e we have I, we have two I's, we have an L. Ah, so that's an issue, see? We have the word lie. That's that's a big one. We've also got lice. I hope your person doesn't have lice. <laughs> um, but we, of course, we do have the C. Again, I am seeing ace, ace. There we go, the ace of pentacles, a brand new start here. Got a wild card, so I will pick up another one. Three A's, we've got an N. Someone may have some bad acne here as well. It all happens to us. We also have S. Let's see. I was going to say slice. This person wants to slice here. Yeah. Someone could be called Anne. Um, I've also got Anna. Um, this is the thing. 
take a picture of this because first name, last, in, last name initials, it could be you, it could be your person, but remember this could be a friend, a family member, a stranger, a co-worker that gives you a light bulb moment or they give you that push. They could be of some influence here or it could literally even be something about this third party. So we just remember though, you do have the fear that you are being protected though. Your spirit team literally are protecting you here and I absolutely love that. But just get ready though, because this person's coming back. We are returning and they really want a second chance. So get ready for the mother of all offers here. With that Ace of Pentacles, that is a solid start here. So I'll see you this Saturday for your bonus week and love tarot reading. Let it come, let it flow. And I wish you the best. Power to you, Scorpio. An absolute pleasure reading for you. Bye.